Okay. Testing. One, two, three. Uh. What's up? Yes, I have returned. Yes, I have returned. Hey, Celio Jr., appreciate that sub on YouTube. Appreciate it. You have now a part of the tilt. Hey, Colby, what is going on? All right. We are currently on a 20-game win streak. I did purposely did not continue the streak so we could play it on stream. Will you stream daily now? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I, I was on vacation. No, I'm I'm back. No, I, I'm gonna stream daily. I was on vacation. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back to streaming our normal schedule for sure. One hundred percent for sure. We got cog climbs to do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not going away. Don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about me going away forever. Don't worry about that. It's not happening. All right, where am I? Hey, it's the Crimson Reaper 5. What is up? All right. All right, let me take this down. Let me take that down. Let me replace the image. I still have my overlay from Rush up here. Oh, my Lord. Those are my Rush overlays. I'm trying to do even more. I want to work on animated overlays as well. I want to do some coolly animated stuff as well that I'm trying to work on. Overly, when I'm not streaming during my free time, I can get some of that done. Alright. Look at how many gems we have already. I'm almost done with the Legacy Duel thing. Okay. So this is the current list we're on. Hey. Put this up here. Yeah, we're on a 20-game win streak right now, JVZ. Yeah, the deck is very good. The only thing I worry about is, like, in a KC... Uh, hold on, I'll tell you in a second. In a KC Cub environment, I worry about this deck because people are going to counter this with Photon. If this becomes anything really strong, Photon's going to counter the hell out of this. Because you're going to lose to Sanified. Like, when I say this deck loses to Sanified, yeah, it loses to Sanified. Like, the, there was two galaxies in the top four already, so that just goes to show you that people are already on the ways to counter this deck. Yeah, the problem necessarily with Galaxy doing it is that when Galaxy plays Sanified... Wait, why did I... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, dirty card mass beast discard. I hate the legacy event, honestly. I think it's the worst legacy one we've had. One of them, because it's just so dull. It feels so sacky. Like a lot of people are playing sacky OTKs. Like most of the duels don't last be past turn two. I don't know. It's like a like a mixed baggage. I feel Shredder. Like I I face like Jinzo Sack Hayabusa Night OTK by the people just opening up their one ups. Hey, anytime JVZ. Yeah. So you can see there's the twenty game win streak on stream. So you know. You can already see. Yes. Thank you. Twenty game win streak. We're gonna cog with this probably tomorrow. I originally planned to start tonight, but I don't think Mango's home, so we can. I'll get in contact. Me? I ain't playing Mermaid Knight OTK. I can take this back up. Oh, you did it? Oh, okay.
Macy's wins your life? Yeah. Oh, this matchup might actually be... Oh, okay, so he's playing the Reborn. Okay, I was, I was more afraid of... Oh, he's playing Baldurak, but he can't summon it. Oh, no, he's playing Life Point Boost Day. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of cute. But Baldurak's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with, honestly. But we might be able to play through it, because we have... Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can bait out a negate here. Okay. Alright, so that baits out the negate. Which is good. That's why I wanted to do that first. All right, give me a second. Let me pull up the YouTube comments. I want to see if we get banished here. No, oh, okay. So he allows it. Revise back his own Shang-Chi. No. Okay. Sure. Now the cool thing is if he banishes red eyes here, we still don't care. We're still chilling. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. That's fine, honestly. Okay, now how do I want to do this? I don't want to go Felgrand, honestly. It's a bit annoying that I did it this way, honestly. Uh, I think this is fine, though. Because now I have no way to bring that back, but it's fine, I guess. Yeah, double. Hey, wait, 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 is there a raid coming in? Oh, shoot. Grand Harrier! Oh, shit, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm at the raid of 93, what's up, bro? I just got back from vacation. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is up, brother? How are you doing? Hey, what's up, Paris? Great job today. You played fantastic, as you always do. Hey! Hey, Closet Boy with the tier one sub. Oh, appreciate that, Closet Boy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm only playing, bro. <laughs> uh, extreme Expert, appreciate that gifted sub. What is like a tier two until tier three? Yeah, I think this deck is really good. All right, now I can banish this Balder Rock and I can be a pain in the ass all. Uh goodbye. Yeah, I don't want to see you ever again. I still have this. What can I revive? Uh Oh right, because I can revive Oh actually. Right, I can revive from his grave as well. So I can banish this and then get a free extender. That's actually really good. I mean Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, da, da, da. yes. Don't want to discard my thing. Dump probably another Mizuki. I could revive and make Sun Saga too. I guess I could do that anyway. Doesn't really have to do that specifically. Yeah, we just win here. Do a Baldurak. Yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah, once people figure it out. Yeah, exactly. Alright, now I win. Actually, I have the level 10. I can just kill him here. Oh, he's on life point boost day, actually. Well, that's still lethal. That's 51. I can just attack directly. 
There's only one way I think I regret that. Okay, then I'll have to regret it. This is so broken! <laughs> 21! <laughs> we don't lose, dude! Blackjack! 21 game win streak! I don't freaking lose! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, I can't see myself ever taking Burial out of this deck. Burial is too broken. This card going set. Yes! Exactly, Steven. It's as easy as locking you in the closet and throwing away the key. You want to know how to lock Steven in the closet? It's very simple. All you do is you put a bowl of chicken scampi right in the closet. He'll go for it. Then you take the key and you lock the door before he can eat. No, I'm only playing. <laughs> I'm only playing, bro. You know I'm only playing. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna send the cut he's gonna send the popo after me now man watch it chat he's sending the popo for me the popo is coming wee -woo -wee -woo. <laughs> the popo is coming <laughs> uh. the only thing is I don't have another zombie in hand but I have to make do with what we have here Oh, I can't skill zombie in the grave. Ew, that's kind of annoying. Hey, yeah, thank you, DMG. Appreciate it. Yeah, I did. I had a fun time. Uh, oh, this is kind of annoying. Hmm. I dump. More. This time is... is not really a way, good way of getting things banished. Mizuki doesn't really accomplish anything. And I could make Sun Saga, but... <sighs> this doesn't look great. I don't more. No, that doesn't really do anything. That's the only way is to really dump Mizuki. And kind of wait for the next turn. Could make Sun Saga there, but like, I don't know what it's really going to do for us. Yeah, well, I think our build is consistent. I don't think that's really been the issue. I think more of the cases we just didn't have, like, um... We just didn't draw into a zombie. Which is kind of unfortunate. That's kind of the unfortunate thing, because we couldn't skill. No, because we didn't draw a zombie. That's kind of the problem. We wouldn't have had a zombie plus combo. That would have been unfortunate. Oh, you hit the one again. Oh, I don't think that's worth it, honestly. Yeah, we didn't have access to skill. If we have access to skill, this is an easy win. Yeah, we just lose here. The sheer engine? I don't know if I agree with that, honestly. I don't think it's worth. Oh, also, huge shout out to Grand. What am I doing? Please. Do, 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 do. Is it? Oh, shit. This is what happens when you haven't streamed in a week. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't stream in a week. <laughs> I swear, that's like the last time I'm recording a YouTube video in a hotel. Shut up, furry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do not. You, you think this my quality's bad? You haven't seen shit from what I what I did in the hotel. Time you come back. Hey, listen, I'm alive. It, it, it.
Hey, look, we can cope that he misplays. We'll cope. Cope with me together. Cope he misplays. Cope, cope, cope. He'll think we have IDP, and he will not kill us. Actually, we might not be dead, Loki. I kind of don't want it. No, it's not worth it. I might be coping here, but we may not be dead. Actually. Yeah, because Twin Burst, he won't have a pop. He can't go Neo, because he's kind of locked on the ding. Yeah, we're still living. Need a top deck of a zombie. Okay. Not exactly the way I want to do it, but I think I'm kind of forced. Okay. We know one of his face downs is ulti fusion. Uh It doesn't really matter if we have this in the grave or we don't. Alright, so now we kinda of play around book here. Every deck can be meta. Yeah. That's a good point. I wanted to play around book there. I might regret that, but... Uh, I could dump Mauler, revive the 10, and try to do something here. Or I could dump another Mizuki. But if I dump a Mizuki, we're going to have no synchro play. Well, no, not really. Well, maybe we will. Hmm. But this gives me more fuel. I think I kind of have to go in. No, because then I can't pop him anyway. Ritual Beast meta? Oh, you're coping hard, buddy. Uh, uh, uh. Listen, if, if Ritual Beast becomes meta, I think Graham will kill me. So we cannot we cannot let that happen. Grand is my brother from another mother, and we're not letting that happen. Okay? Me and Grand have always been on good terms. So if I want what's good for me, Ritual Beast cannot be in the metagame. <laughs> if I know what's good for me, <laughs> I'll keep it outside the meta. <laughs> Okay, we still haven't used the effect in Grave yet to revive, so we're we're still we forced him to do that, and we still have. Um... Okay, good. I wanted to force the disruption. He can only pop face ups. That cannot pop sets. He cannot pop set cards with ultimate fusion. He can only pop face ups. Okay, we might actually have a chance. All right, so he can pop that. That's fine. Now we burial. And we can put back both Mizukis and the Sam Skull in the grave. We can actually out that. I have to bring this back first. Oh, and then we can revive that. Oh, actually. Yeah, that's actually pretty damn good. This is what I mean about Burial being kind of insane. Now we draw two. Oh, oh my gosh! I gotta do this fast, though. I have game. Can't time out here. Yes! We don't lose! 22! <laughs> oh my gosh! 
Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! So I'm editor and librarian soon? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I know how to clap, man! <laughs> Listen, I, I use I use Anna. If I use if I use Ghost Gal, I committed the Forbidden Arts. We cannot bait on Ghost Gal, or Crimson might kill me. <laughs> oh wow, we could just own him here. I could just dump another Mizuki here, honestly, or I could dump Shinobi first. That eh, doesn't really matter. Revive Chang Chi. No, there's no waiting for his. Hey, 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 hey! You cannot mock me, sir. The chop is gone. The chop is dead. Something's getting revived from the grave, and it ain't him. Tell you that much. I Tim tell you that much. Now we can banish Shinobi here. This is where it gets really good because now we can start drawing a lot of cards. And we can banish this spectral here, which is going to be really good. Okay, we don't care. We can draw a discard. I like to revive Red Eyes here first so we get Shinobi's effect, which is really good. So this is essentially Squire. Okay, that's good for the follow up. Now we can make Skeletal. And the cool thing is, Burial is really good for turn three. That out of here. I wanted to fit Draco Berserker in here, but there's like no room. Now we have a ton of follow up on turn three as well. So, like, what we can do on turn three is we can use Burial plus Samurai Skull for a, lo a load of follow up. And we get a draw on his turn as well. With a uh, sucker. And we take away his spectral sword. Hey! It's Pinul Kata! <laughs> Get it? Pinul Kata! <laughs> What's up, Alex Pinul Kata? <laughs> He's gonna kill me. He's gonna go, oh, it's up. Okay. Tilt my tree. <laughs> Yeah, let's put Spectral back in the grave. Let's see how much Sean, let's see how much of a dumbass Sean is and put this Spectral back in the grave. <laughs> All good. Why set? Because we can bait on MST. Why would why wouldn't we want to keep it in hand? There's actually a funny thing, Steven. I love bro when they go into skill saga. Because like they have to be banished to summon it, so I just wait until they activate their skill saga and target Sun Saga and then I just return it to the grave. And I piss off every Shira play in existence. <laughs> they just sit there 10 minutes wondering why they can't summon Sun Saga. <laughs> and then I go to OTK. And even this one guy had needle sealing too. And I still OTK'd him. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Wow, that's the first time I've ever seen anyone add Spectral Sword before with the skill. That is literally the first time I've ever seen anyone add Spectral Sword with the Shira skill before. How are the new ones? Alex, they're really good. We're on a 22-game win streak right now. I'm on a 22-game win streak right now. We're clapping. As you would say, we be we being chilling. <laughs> we being chilling, bro. We being chilling. I know. I know everyone was commenting on the YouTube side. I felt so bad. Like everyone was commenting on the YouTube side of like, ah, do I have to get this? Do I have to get this really expensive freaking ass art? Okay, Shade's fine for now. He hasn't banished anything yet. He hasn't. He can't use Spectral Engrave, so he's gonna have to wait that out. Okay. Yeah, and sure. Now what? Okay, sure. All right, now we can go Zombie Lord, Revive Back Felgren. There's no point in using the Maya Link. We can just save it. I 
Eh, yeah, play around the trap here. This banishes shade. All right, now we win. <laughs> uh, not today, Jimmy. 23. I think it's game twice. <laughs> We've been scammed. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, okay, your MBT impression? All right. All right, I got it. Yeah, I got you. All right, you ready? All right. Alex! You literally top decked it! I am legally cheating! All right, all right. What is up, Jank Enthusiast? Today's card of the... What is up, Jank Enthusiast? Today's deck of the day is... Cosmo! Cosmo won an event in Brazil <laughs> against Snake Eye Meta! <laughs> How did he do it? Well, his first round opponent didn't show and, uh, you know, his other opponents, uh, you know, might not be playing anything relevant shit, but... How? 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 How did I draw three burials? How? 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 I have nine plus starters in the deck. How? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't really see a reason to normal summon this. I mean, I guess we don't have to discard it. Yeah, I guess we can normal summon it. Why not? I don't think there's really a reason to keep it in the grave. The thing is, I don't really want to use Chang-Chi's effect in me. Well, I guess I have Burial, so I really don't give a shit. Yeah, I guess I really don't give a crap. No, <laughs> it's killing me, yes. Ah! Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's good to normal summon this, actually. Yeah, I want to dump a Mizuki here, honestly. Normal. Okay, so he's going to let me Synchro. Or Link, as a matter of fact. If he has IDP, I don't care. No, I don't care. Let's force out the back row. This will be more impactful. I have like three of these. I really don't care to use one. Okay, Crackdown, that's a good hit. That's a very good hit, as a matter of fact. Should have mizuki first, but nah. It's fine. Would have gotten more value that way, I guess. It's fine. This can protect itself if I'm right. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't really pay to make Sun Saga. I can make Unicorn here. Get rid of it. But... I don't think it's needed. I think I just attack, honestly. Alright, Kiteroid. That's fine. Burial is really, really strong. Like, I, Steven, I gotta show you one replay after this. I have a replay where I, I killed S-Force through IDP Chase because of Burial. He had, he had a really good S-Force hand, and we killed him. We OTK'd him through it. And it is very hard to OTK S-Force, but we did it. Do like IDP Chase. You got to watch my roast recent? Okay, I will. Okay. Is this in a gate? Uh... Oh, okay. So I might want to revive here. Utilizing burial? Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, we shouldn't be dead here. Unless he's playing like the jank. The only time we die is if he's playing utter jank. Oh, 
cry. So now he can go into that. Oh, we do have Droplet, too. That might help us out. Okay, I'm going to negate that. Uh, fine, I guess. Because otherwise we can't activate shit for the rest of the turn. And then he can attack our monsters three times. So we don't want that. I have a little bit of knowledge how Kaiju works. I played against, I played it in the TCG when Kaiju came out. So I have full knowledge about that field spell. Alright, check out what I pulled. Check out what happens when Sean does a 10 pack plus dollar 10 pack plus UR deal. Gets a very it gets actually honestly a very, very cool card. Alright, now I'm gonna OTK him through fucking kaiju, because I don't wanna freaking die. So if I run this, now I die, now he dies through Kite Roid. In case he's playing another Kite Roid in the freaking hand, and I'm not going to lose to it. No need to do that, but we win anyway. 24! Yes! We don't lose! We literally don't freaking lose! We don't freaking lose! 24 in a row. Oh my god. Topo logic. I haven't tried that. That's actually a really good idea, Paris. I never, I never, I didn't think about that. Okay, let me see your latest, bro. All right, Steven, where is it? Wait, why am I looking at my latest? Hold on. You guys can see I already have over 7k gems. I'm already on the roll to grinding. You guys can see it already. Yeah, we're on it, Vince. We're on a 24-game win streak with the deck. We're almost cog, 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 cog. I'm on 20 pages. No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, so we already have Burial in hand, judging by the play you make. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're playing Gravity Controller for the grind game, I see. So you can hold Burial more and utilize it for a less setup. I see what you're doing. Okay. Nice, nice. You can negate here in the mirror, yep. Negate the Zhangxi. Man, Mola reduce. He gets to go into Immortal. Links into Sucker. Brings back Shangxi. He's already negated. Now all he can do is that, yeah. Now if you have Burial, you're just gonna kill him here. Oh my, <laughs> okay. We can recycle that. Oh, you're on a mortal. Okay. Okay, draws. Mauler. He can make Sun Saga. Non-target pop, but we have Al Ghul. We have Al Ghul protection. Alright, we do top deck. Okay. Trigger Shang-Chi, yep, nice. Now we Sun Saga, pop for two, and GG. Nice!
Very nice. Yeah. I I personally like Burial from a Different Dimension. I'm I'm a big fan on it, honestly. Because I feel like it really extends going second. I I do like core as well. I see core, yeah. Cause like you can go second really well. Like core is really good too. I I I personally play like Phoenix and Unicorn in the extra deck because like I'll, I'll, I'll let me show you the last replay. You'll see. You'll see it. What I did here. This one. This one's the best one. Also, the other one was somebody challenging me on the ladder with Ritual Beast, uh, with this deck and and and. Yeah, I yeah yeah I I yeah I I get it, yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. No, nope, watch this. Yeah, Steven, watch this, bro. Watch the cool play I do. But I think gravity control is a neat idea. Now I play around Gravitino. I banish Changshi to play around Gravitino, triggering the uh, sh the Shinobi. So now we force out the chase. Force Geo. There's no point in banishing Gravitino because he's just going to resummon it with Plotina. Now I force his IDP. Now we go Sun Saga. Pop for two. And then second Mizuki is game. That's why, that's why, that, yeah, that's why I'm such a big fan on all engine. Because, like, you could go off going second. Yeah. Burial is wild. Yeah, exactly. Hey! Appreciate the, appreciate the subscribe. Mango, what are you doing? Ah, this is, the, I, I don't support bad life decisions. What are you doing? Mango! Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I go, you don't need to do this. I don't support unnecessary life decisions. It's fine. <laughs> I don't want this. How? Well, unfortunately, kitties, I think this is the point where we lose. <laughs> um, I might have to add a zombie or two in this deck. To be fair, we're like a 24-game win streak, so like, you know. think maybe a few tweaks we add a zombie or two in. And we're good to go. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I, I think, though, we could do it ending like a core into the deck or whatever. The extra deck is really tight. I personally am a big fan of, like, Phoenix Unicorn just for going second. I, I kind of prioritize going second more than I do going first. That's kind of the way I naturally think. Yeah, it's really tight. Like, I love Steven's idea of gravity controller, too, but I just don't know how we'd fit it in. Yeah, I guess. I mean, desperation pull here. Yeah, exactly. It's it's so hard because like the extra deck is so tight with this deck. Yeah, yeah, it's tight. Like it's really tight. Like even I consider Draco Berserker, but there's not enough room. Like you know what I mean? You can't even fit that in.
Yeah, 24, though, is insane. That's, like, really, really good. <laughs> like, that that should tell you alone the deck is top tier. Like, I don't think I have to prove myself too far below 24-game win streak. Yeah. Ah, uh, yep. With salad. Red Rain. That seems more win more, though. Man, I guess you could. Oh, we might be living. Yo, let's go. I love how every time I say I die, I'm gonna hold. I mean, I don't know if really dropping here benefits us. Is he gonna revive it anyway? Yeah, I'd rather hold the drop one, honestly. Just let it go. Well, I don't know. Because now I have to send something. Because if I top deck a zombie, I kind of have to send the card off to set something. Which is kind of unfortunate. So I don't know. Well, I guess I negate this, but... It's a one-card combo with shang -Chi. That's why he's playing it. That's why. Yeah, it's good, though. It's really good. Okay, good. We played around book. Okay. At least to some extent. Uh, to what extent, I still don't know. Uh, hmm. I could do that, but I don't know if that's even enough, honestly. Kind of results in me drawing to see what I need to see. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. What about Droplet? I think it's needed. It's not needed. I don't think it's needed, but I think it's nice in some cases. Honestly. I don't, I don't think it's needed, to say. Like, needed is kind of a harsh answer. Okay. That's interesting. Dump. Now what are we doing? Well, I could go Sun Saga, I guess. I don't think that's going to be the key to winning the game, but it's an option. If there's anything else that's better for us to necessarily go into, though. I 
I mean, I can make a revive on his turn, but the problem is, like, it doesn't really do enough for me to do that. That's kind of the issue here. Unless I leave his Blast Dragon. I guess I can. Eh, that doesn't feel great either, but I don't think I really have much of a choice. No, no, he's negated. It's the Great Magnus! Holy! I'm also going to play the Vampire version of this deck. The Vampire version slaps. Mango, it's fine, alright? It's fine, alright? I don't care if Sun Saga's the best vampire boss monster. Listen, bro. I don't give a fuck. We're using him anyway. I don't care. I don't care if he surpasses Duke and being our new boss monster, bro. I don't even give a fuck. The skill won't let me summon Baron. It won't let me summon Vamp. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> it's completely fine. <laughs> it's completely fine. All right. Mango, I'm here for you Friday. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm here. All right, the kid, the deals come can't hurt you. Snake Eye Tier Zero cannot hurt you. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right. We don't care about popular. We don't care about Diabolster. We don't care. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Fire Kings aren't here yet. It's fine. See, it's completely fine. <laughs> we're not. We're not at full fire meta. We don't have bonfire. We don't have. We don't have freaking fire kings. It's fine. All right. Completely fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Red Eyes is great again? Yes. I told you they would be great again. Bring out Xerox. Where's Xerox? Wait, did Quantum not get a prismatic Red Eyes zombie dragon? No! He has like two of the he has like two of the uh, other Red Eyes prismatics. Wait, what's it what is it? The, the whatever the other one is that came out of the mini box. I know Quantum got two of them. No! We're gonna lose here. Uh, trying to save money now? Yeah, I hear you. I hear that. Well, we're dead. He negates us with Vimana and we unfortunate. Well, actually, wait. Oh, we might not be dead per se, but. No, we are. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's lethal because of the extra 200 damage. Unless he somehow attacks in the wrong order. Oh, wait. No, no, wait. He can't boost from the grave. We're alive by 100. 200, I should say. I don't know what I really could top deck. Well, um, there is that. Uh... I do have a Mizuki in the Banish pile. I guess we force him to negate Vimana. I guess that's kind of what I have to do. But I want to negate, force him to negate now. He can time out. Yeah, it's always a win con. I kind of sometimes forget that's a win con, but never surrender. All right, that's fine. Now I can put it back in the grave. It's also good for recycling the Maya Link as well, I feel. Okay. That's fine. When do I revive here? Mizuki is the question. Ah, Chongxi, I guess. Is probably our best target. Yeah. Yeah. Dump another Mizuki, I guess. Problem is... Well, I guess, yeah, that's a play. We can revive back the two. 
make fell ground here. Unfortunately, we can't target him because this still protects, which is annoying because I can't have to ding. We can bring this back, I guess. I don't know what that really does for us, but... I guess it gives us a body to play with. Oh, but we're kind of dead, though. Problem is, he just a... Well, I mean, I guess I can negate ding. But the problem is, he just swings over us and we die. Unless I just revive Sunsog on the next turn. Ah, uh, but it's not going to really do enough. Yeah, we can't win. Because, like, even if I swing over Ding there, we just lose. No, we can't use the spell because it can't be used the same turn we set it. Yeah, like, it's not enough. Because the thing is, if I attack Ding, he has Galaxy Eyes just to attack over me. No, because he just attacks over it, though. With Galaxy Eyes. We just lose that way, I feel. Like, he just kills us with Galaxy Eyes. Unless... Wait. Well, no, that doesn't even do it. Yeah, but... Wait. But now he can't attack over anything. Wait, he just threw. Huh? Oh, well, I guess he can boost now. Yeah, I guess he can be mana and then win. Yeah, I guess that wins him the game, too. Wait, what? What is he doing? <laughs> Bro! Bro, you suck! And now don't use me mana's effect. That's how I do it. <laughs> you see, Mango, that's the key to winning the KC Cup. You say, yeah, I told you. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> what job? Well, I told you this is done. <laughs> Screw you, Clapper. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> All right, we keep going. We ain't stopping. Ooh, this is a hot hand. I could have even... Well, no, because I don't want to do that. I was going to say I could even summon Necro there, but eh. I don't know if I really love that idea. What we can do is we're going to do this. We're not going to pitch the second Mizuki. We're actually going to pitch that with Shinobi Necro. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Is it not? Oh, I have to format the screen. Don't worry, this is the part of the stream where Paris gets to make fun of me because my opponent was jackass. <laughs> hey, Daru, it's been a long time. How have you been, brother? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to revive back the trigger Necro. That way we draw discard the Mizuki in the grave. That's why I wanted to do it that way. Mango, tomorrow, Cog... Or t wait, wait, tomorrow's Thursday. Uh, if we don't get to your account tomorrow because of Duelist Cup, we can definitely get to your account um, when the Duelist Cup ends. So either way. I don't want to interrupt your Duelist Cup, Warren. Hey. 
But we will get to all the decks. If it's one account, then I end up doing them more. No, I'm not. I, I'm I'm code. I'm gonna be with Mango on VC for a bit during it during when he plays at night. So that way he doesn't tilt. No, I'm not. I haven't played much in this meta. I just want to coach on it. I want to be there. We tonight, if you want, no pressure. Tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow's perfect. Yeah, tomorrow's perfect. Yeah, I don't want to do a super long stream tonight because I just came back from vacation and I've kind of been up since 5 a.m. in the morning. So, like, I don't want to make it super long tonight, if that makes sense. Ah, uh, no. No, Scorp. I didn't go for the Sun Saga setup. I went for the Felgrand. I could have probably did more. But I wanted to keep it more for follow up because I thought I was kind of fine here. Hey, listen, it's fine. It's fine. If the vampires keep me alive, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I keep hearing nightmares of the TCG, what people are going through right now. That they're in their own tier zero. Even dude needs his rest. True! But again, Grant, thank you for the raid, bro. Appreciate it, bro. I will get you back. I will get you back. Guys, make sure if you haven't entered the Grand Prix, you guys got to do so. Please support Grand. Like, even if you're not playing in the tournament, at least lurk in a stream. Like, that helps him out a lot. Just get the view account up. Make sure you go out there and support him. Because he invests his own money into the tournament. Like, the Grand Prix, that comes out of his own pocket. So, like, he is really devoted to the community. Like, it's it's incredible. We are so lucky to have a person like Rand in our community, honestly. He, he does for the community before. He puts the community before himself, which you can't ask for any better than that. And, guys, make sure you guys go follow Steven. I'm working on animated overlays for all you guys as well. I'm trying to create animated overlays. For, every, for all the streamers out there. So I'm working on that as well. Uh, make sure you go follow my boy Steven. He is fantastic. He is extremely top tier. At both Yu-Gi-Oh! and at Olive Garden. He is top tier in Olive Garden as well. <laughs> yes. So make sure you go follow my boy Steven. Oh, now I get to revive. I'm not going to revive. I don't want to revive Felgrand just yet. Because I want to kind of like have the follow up. Like, I don't want it, not the follow up, but I kind of want to wait. There's no point. Scorp, we, we can go undefeated in um, MCL this week. I'm so excited, Scorp and Steven. We're doing, it's so, it's going so good this season, guys. We got this. I'm so excited for this, for MCL. In all the leagues. Goblin Zombie? No, I don't think it is. Okay, he could tag out. Ugh. I mean, if I do that, he's just going to tag out anyway. There's no point. Just wait him out. I don't care if he kills Sucker. The one thing I teach you guys all the time is you guys got to know when to be patient. You don't want to just click on the... You don't just want to interrupt the first thing you see. Think about the play a bit. Think about what their end result could be. What the worst damage could be. Like, I don't even have to use the Mile Link here, honestly. I could just wait. But then I want to get value off of it on the next turn. So, no, I'm going to use it now. I kind of want to get value off Felgrand now and then the next turn as well. So, we will... Ah! That's kind of cute. But we could do it on the next turn. Force the Blue Eyes out of his hand if he has it. The nice thing is if we force Blue Eyes out, he'll have a Blue Eyes on the field, so he won't be able to use Successor Soul. Because Successor Soul requires him to use an effect monster. Unless he wants to use it now, which is fine, because then we force the disruption. Yeah. I want to force the disruption. See, this is the idea. That's okay. And then we have this on the next turn in case we want to banish his Blue Eyes or whatnot. Okay. Now, how do I want to do this? I think we flip up Red Eyes first, or I can Monster Reborn. Actually, let's Reborn first. Oh, that's funny. That's actually funny. 
<laughs> That's actually funny. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Not gonna lie. My dragon! <laughs> Emerge! Dragon spirit of zombie! <laughs> exactly, it'd be a shame. <laughs> Uh, Steven, I swear, bro, this is a zombie deck, bro. I, I swear, all right? It's a zombie deck, I'm telling you. Uh, uh, please, it, it, see, it's Spirit of White. Yeah, that's it. See, it's Dragon Spirit of White. See, it is a zombie. You see? It counts, right? <laughs> right? It, it's an undead dragon. <laughs> it's a spirit. I, I, what I tell you, chat, I tell you. <laughs> all right, now we flip up. This will force the back row because we're going to threaten Nightmare Phoenix immediately. Without clogging ourselves. Spirit of Dead Blue Eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you always want to think of the process of threatening their back row as soon as you possibly can. Then I could put the My Link back and revive again. Oh my lord, this is about to get disgusting. Alright, better use it, buddy. Better use that back row, Jimmy. Okay, that's fine. Alright, look at what this guy opened going second. He had book. Double successor soul, and he had ultimate fusion. So he had four things for us going second, but we're still going to win. Now we go burial. We can put back two Mizukis and the Maya Link. This is gross! Three, Miz three Mizukis in grave. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Gross! <laughs> Dude, we're at like 26 now. Let's go. Dude, we're killing it. Like 26 game win streak. Good, if I top deck a Mizuki here, this would be so good. If I draw a Mizuki, this will be so good. Like, drawing Mizuki with Unizombie is disgusting. Because that way, like, if I draw a Mizuki in this case, I can normal Unizombie, bait out, like, um... I can bait out, like, a, a Book of Moon, and then skill, pitch both, and revive back the other Uni. Mizuki. Woohoo! I just call my draws. Steven, I'm playing a lotto tonight, alright? I called Mizuki and I drew it. Alright, I'm betting I'm playing the lotto tonight, bro. I'll go to the store and bid us a ticket. Maybe we'll hit it off big. <laughs> I mean at the rate when I when I call shots like that <laughs> we should. Sean's <laughs> using D draw. Guys, if I knew the secret to using D draw, I would have used it all last Casey Cup. Let's be real. All right, how do I want to do this? Do I want to do that first? I don't think it really fucking matters, honestly. Yeah, we'll just do it the simple way. We will burial first. That's fine. Think of this as essentially Monster Reborn, essentially. And we just win. Bring back the shang -Chi, send back the Shinobi Necro. Also, shout-outs to Lemon. Lemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! He was also teaching me this. He's the boy as well. Lemon was helping me out as well. Learn the stuff. So I don't look like a brainless buffoon and not know what I'm doing half the time. Gross! Hello! Oh my lord. Well, I could even go Unicorn and just put another freaking Mizuki in the grave for the hell of it. If I wanted to. Banish! What the fuck is that? What? Wait, how? What is that? 
How? 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 Wait, how? Crimson, how? What? What? How? 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 Who plays Monster Cat? How? 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 How long until Grab B skill? Yo, 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 yo. What is that? I don't even know what this deck does. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, I have no idea. Grand, if any one of you know what this deck does, please light me. Because I have no idea what this deck is supposed to do. <laughs> is this like an o OTK or something? It does nothing. <laughs> I ain't playing it, no way. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> you play it. You guys go and play it. I ain't fucking playing it. Oh, fuck that shit. You guys are on your own. <laughs> I'd rather take up Hendo's bet to play Exodia. King and shit. Cogwood Cats, you're right. I think I'd rather Cogwood Time Lord. And when you hear that from me, you know shit's gone bad. It's gotten bad, chat, when Sean wants to cog with Time Lord. <laughs> you know it and I know it. What is it at 27 now? Mother of... Holy fuck. Nope, no need. We don't do that yet. do 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 Oh, uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, fuck, I meant to link first. Oh, I misplayed. Oh, well. Uh, I kind of effed that up. Ah, uh, there might, there actually is, might be a way for us to get out of this. In some sort of fashion. Actually, there is really no way for us to recover from this. Well, I mean, I guess I could do that. Ugh. But we're going to have no disruption now. I, I can I can misplay on occasion, all right? I can make a mistake. Oh my gosh. Is that grand deck with its cats? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. We might still win this anyway, honestly. We don't have to do anything. Even though I want the draw, it's not worth it. Not worth us dying to get the draw. Yeah, that's fine. He can't pop anything else on the field. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay... Ah, uh, he's gonna make ding anyway. If I chain drop, what so it's not gonna work. He has a delay in hand, probably a book. Can't use ultimate fusion with these two on the field, so that's not that. It's probably a book of moon in hand. If he makes ding, I don't really gain a ton of value off that. At least we get this back in the grave. We need the top deck to win. I feel. 
We'll see how it goes. If he makes ding, we might be okay. Because then it probably means he's not going to be able to extend it to too much else. No, I made a mistake. I missed. I messed up the line. Yes, at the 27 duels, I actually made a mistake. Uh, uh, it's okay. I mean, we we do have an eight. I can revive something. I, unacceptable ban this guy. Exactly, Scorp. Yeah, ban me. Right, right away. Get him out. All right, if he makes ding, I'm kind of okay with it. Hey, Shay Money, what's good? Unless he just miraculously goes to battle, then I'm kind of chilling, honestly. Probably just take the 25 and let him attack. Because he can't attack with this, because he already popped. Yeah, I just take the 25 here. And I don't do anything else until the end step. Now we get to revive. And I get the Mile Link back in the grave now, which is a lot better. And now I get an additional revive. Okay, so he has a Blue Eyes in hand. That's why he has a sudden delay. He has Blue Eyes in hand. Yeah, that's a Blue Eyes in hand. That's why I didn't revive. That's why I didn't revive there. So it might be... You guys might be asking... Sean, why wouldn't you revive there? Well, the reason why you don't revive is because he has blue eyes in hand. He's going to swing over me. That's why I didn't do that. I knew he had blue eyes in hand. That's why I held. But now we get the Maya Link in the grave, which makes things a lot more interesting now. Okay, so we get to revive Sucker for free, which gives us free access to Unicorn and stuff like that. And, oh, The only thing is... Well, I could drop with it in the grave, but I don't want to drop with it uh, Unicorn also gets it in the grave. And we get a free draw here if I go Mauler first. The only problem with that is it does lock us, but... The zombies. But I think he has a book in the hand. That's the only reason why I'm slightly worried about doing this. But we might have an idea. I might have a way out of this anyway. Because I could return the Maya Link back. I could... Manipulate it a bit more. Crackdown? Okay. I still get to summon. And I get a draw. Okay. This makes things very interesting now. Because now I can clear Mauler. Go for Maya Link. I guess negate this. I got force out the blue eyes. Yes. And it okay, now we can dump here. We can dump a Mizuki. That's pretty good. Now we can make Phoenix. This is going to be really strong. Now we can pop our Crackdown. Oh, it's not Blue Eyes anymore. Right. Yeah, you're right. He can't fuse. Okay, so this forces the Successor Soul, which is good. Right, so we force that out, and we still have Maya Link live. Keep that in mind. The Maya Link is still completely alive here. I can revive back Sucker. Sucker is good because this comes back as a Link too. That's very strong, honestly. And then I have Burial set, so this is going to be very strong place. Mm. Yes. I will. Mm. Mm. Okay.
I think his last back row is Buck. Oh no, it was Ultimate Fusion. Okay. That's fine. I can put shit back in the grave. I can make Felgrand now, honestly. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! I still have Sun Saga. Yeah, we just win. Just gotta do this before I time out. Scorp! Fucking infinite revives, bro! Fucking infinite revives. Fucking infinite fodder. We don't lose. We don't lose. That's why I love Phoenix Unicorn. Because it's so strong. Holy shit. 28. Scorp, I, I had to be him, bro. I, I I couldn't let him. I couldn't let him gain. I couldn't let him. I couldn't put him at so much of a disadvantage by not going into into Fel Grand Turn One. Come on, we need to let him have somewhat of a semblance of a chance. Jeez Louise, Esteban, yes, it's Steven's cousin once removed. <laughs> Oh, it's Steven's cousin once removed. No! My hand is dead! I can't zombie reborn because I had three chunks. Season. Oh, come on! I can't do shit because I have triple chunks. Bro, no! Steven, no! Steven, why? No! He's getting revenge. Steven, why? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> it's fine, man. It's fine. I didn't even need it anyway. Alright, well, I can drop with this, but it ain't looking pretty. One sucker. Yeah, but, but the thing is... Hmm. Hmm, okay. Wait. Oh, I can't do shit because run the tombs. Yeah, we lose. We lose. Well, we had 28. 28 is still insane. You're not on Maya either? I don't know. I feel like the Maya link's really strong. I don't think I would cut it. I don't think I would cut... I can't cut Sun Saga either. I don't think I would cut the Maya link though. Because I feel like the Maya link is too strong. Like, I feel like the only loss we had is when we opened up Triple Zhangxi. I don't see a need. I think it's good because it sets up two negates in one. It sets up two negates in one. Like, the thing is, if you go into Myolink, you can revive 
you can revive. It's really good against blue eyes, and I also think it's really good to revive back and then have the negate also because you can revive back from zombie. I mean, I, I get why you did. I see. I totally see why you did. I totally see why you did it. But I'm, I, I, I don't see myself cutting it. But I, I totally see why you would like it, because it's it it is does open the door to the one card combo, which I totally get. But in my opinion, I still like the Maya Link a lot. I still do enjoy Double Sucker, uh, because I feel like I feel like the Maya line does come up for me quite a bit. But I, I do see why you did that. And it's also really good to recycle as well. Like, like the thing is, the thing is, is like, I feel like, I feel like, uh, yeah, it, I, I like the Maya Link having it in the recycling it in the graveyard for more. But it, yeah, I, I definitely get why though. Because like when you open up one Changshi, then it's really nice. Are you on a more back row version of the deck? Or do you run pure aggression, Steven? Are you on more of a back row version or a pure aggression? I'm also on the Felgrand Exceed. Felgrand Exceed. Two Sark. I tried Sark before, but I didn't like it though. Because I feel like... I feel like I feel like there are other ways to play through it than like I feel like if you get booked then like the only time I've ever wanted Sark is if I get booked. But I feel like I feel like mm, I don't know. I was I've been mixed on it. I feel like I also see Shang-Chi enough. It's good with burial too. Yeah, it is. It is. I could see it being good with burial. I personally like I personally like reborn. Because the way I play it is I like as many turn two extenders as I can. And I'm and I'm a big fan. I, I like Monster Reborn in the deck a lot. He plays Gravity and Felgrand Exceed. Yeah, but how often does Felgrand come up though? Every game? Mm hmm. Um. And on Felgram plus Red Eyes. But how are you doing that, though? I don't see how I don't see how you get to that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see how you're getting to that, though. How are you ending on two level eights? Because, like, hmm. Oh, wait, are you playing? Oh, I think I know how you're doing it. It's on YouTube. Oh, you're playing Ghoul? Yeah, but like, mm, you're using Agul Mazara. Mm. Yeah, uh, mm. I, I, I still like this version though. I still like this version. I think, I think honestly, I think honestly, mm, I like an aggressive turn too. I, I think I like as much. See, the thing is, I approach it more like... I, I get... I, I totally get why you play it the way you do. I I, I approach it more like Tenyi, I think. Because I like it... I, I, I take the Tenyi approach. Where it's like... Where I like to... I, I like to go all in on turn two. I like all gas. But I, I definitely... I definitely see the promise in your version too. I think your version's really good as well. I definitely could see where I definitely see why you would do that though. Mm -mm. Is your version not good on turn two? Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, your version's your version's really good on turn two. I I yeah yeah. Yeah yeah, your version is good on turn two as well. But I do mm, yeah 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 yeah. Your version's really good on turn two as well. I don't I don't I I was trying Sark before. I'm still on three burial Mizuki. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do. I do like your version. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. The thing is, though, I'm I'm like fifty fifty on Gold Sark. I think I I love three burial. I'm glad we're. I I I'm glad. I agree. We we both agree on three Gold. I three burial. I don't know. If, I don't know if I like Gold Sark as much, but I I definitely see why you would play it though. Yeah, your build is very good on turn two. Yeah, I don't know if I like Gold Sark. I like your build otherwise. I definitely see why you would play Felgrand though. Um. I definitely see why you like Felgrand, though. I, I don't know about Sark, though. Because, like, I was trying it before, and it got weird at points. Because the thing is, the thing is, is, like, there are spots where you already have combo, and then I feel like Gold Sark doesn't do Droplet enough. I don't know. Droplet's been good for me. I don't know. Like, I, 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 I can see why you would cut Droplet. I feel like Droplet is very good in everything except... Uh, what should I call it? Uh, what's the thing called? Santified. But I like Droplet because Droplet's very good against like Shiranui, especially going second. Like I feel like if they end on skill, well, most good Shira players won't. They're gonna go into my link. But like if they end on skill saga, then you have like five different ways to stop it. Most of the time, you empty turn and turn one. Yeah, but I well. Yeah, I, I, you do. I feel like, I, well, I feel like the version I play, I generally have one or two cards in hand, depending on whether I have, um, depending on whether what setup I end on with the MyLink, because I, 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 I run the, I run the MyLink. I do like, I do think Droplet is decent in the meta. I do think it's decent, uh, because I think it's decent against Mayakashi. You can negate their synchro. I think it's good against Shiranui because you can negate Sun Saga with it. Like, it's not bad. Uh, the only thing I think it's bad against is, like, yeah, it's overrated. That's fair. Like, I, I can see it's overrated. Yeah. Uh, again, like I said, it's not the ne it's not godly either. Like, it does have weaknesses. Like, I feel like Droplet's bad against Blue Eyes. Like, it doesn't really do anything to help you win there. Right, exactly. It's not good against Blue Eyes. And I don't think it's very good against, um... Galaxy. I don't think it's the best against Galaxy Eyes either. So, like, I mean, not not that's not the best, but, like, they're gonna end... It's good against Galaxy Eyes, but they're gonna end on Santa Fun, right? So, like, what does Droplet do when they activate Santa Fun, right? Like, that doesn't do anything. You're already losing the game. Right? I mean, like, if you're playing something like Shira, it's good, but if you're going up against something like, you know, I don't know, Red Eyes, if you're going up against something like Galaxy Eyes when they make Santa Fun, like, what is it doing for you? But I, I, I see the usage for it, uh, I don't like personally. I don't like running traps in the deck because I'm I'm pure going second. I don't like the idea of running traps because I feel like you're already losing going second. Like I want to run as much gas as possible. I I take almost a ten year approach. That's why I don't. I know I know a lot of people have been playing like three dimension, three dimension. What dimension? Versus meta two. What dimension? Dimension what? You mean die fi No, JVZ, that doesn't work, though, because, like... Oh. Oh. Oh, we're not going to play that in here, though. Uh, yeah, but the problem with the Santa... The problem with the Santa Fod approach... I feel like the problem with the Santa Fod... Oh, burial, he means? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I think the problem with the Santa Fod approach is, like, if you go up against... Let's say you go up against Galaxy Eyes, right? I, I, and you run Valor, then the problem is that they make Blast Dragon, then your Valor's dead. That That's why I don't like it at all. I don't think Valor's good against this meta at all, honestly. Because the thing is, if you play Valor in here, they're going to make Blast Dragon, and then you're going to lose. Because you're not going to be able to negate their 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 um, uh, Santa Fod. And that's where I think like cards like Valor lose out. I think the bottom line is, if you get Santa Fod going second, I don't think there's a... I don't think there's anything you can do against Santa Fod. That's that's the only problem with this deck. That's the one problem with this deck. 
It's like, if you go up in a KC Cup and you start getting Santa Fodded and everyone starts playing Galaxy Eyes to beat this, then you're going to be in a coin flip scenario because I don't think there's a consistent way to beat Santa Fod. Yeah, but even they can play through Crow. Galaxy Eyes can make Santa Fod through Crow. All they need to do is like, if they, if they let's say they skill first, right? And they go trade in. Then they already know you have Crow. They're going to reveal an 8 for, for um, Galaxy Brave. And then they're going to summon it. So the minute that you have Crow, they're going to go into two eights. Yeah, that's the problem. That That's that's what I fear the most is Santa Fod with this deck. Like, I think this deck is really good, but I think in, like, competitive play, Santa Fod's going to be the biggest issue. Because, like, there's no way to stop it. That, th like, Santa Fod's different than any other effect, right? It's an effect that activates on their turn. So, like, if they go Santa Fod, then you... I, how do you beat Santa Fod? That's the problem. That's the only... Like, I think this deck is really, really good, but, like, if you go up against Santa Fod, how do you beat it? That's that's the only thing that concerns me. Like, if they go first and they activate it, what do you do? Because, like, you... There's really no way to play around summoning from the grave, right? I mean, unless you have... Can Gold Sark play around it? But, like, that's only one Zhangxi. I feel like... The problem is now, JVZ, is Galaxy Eyes is going to get very popular. Like, I see Galaxy Eyes as a Tier 2 deck now. Especially if this gets very popular. Because, like, before the problem was Galaxy Eyes really didn't have a... I wouldn't say didn't have a place in the meta, but it had, like... You know, it didn't really do anything that other decks did already did. But now that the fact that you have, like, you know, a really good turn one against this and Mayakashi, it's kind of like... I don't know. Uh... I'm trying to think. And the effect... Yeah, it lingers. Yeah, you can't droplet it afterwards, no. Or you can't chalice it. Yeah, that's that's kind of the annoying thing. It's like a floodgate. Yeah. Blue Eyes has a way to make... Yeah, Blue Eyes can make it, but the thing is, like, with Blue Eyes, at least you have a chance of stopping it, like with Valor and whatnot. But the problem... The thing that sucks, I think, mostly against something like... Against something like um, Galaxy Eyes is they turn off your ability to stop it, period. That's that I think is the most annoying thing. Like if they go into the if they go into um Santa Fod, then they they automatically stop you, right? So that's kind of like the thing. Um okay. Uh yeah, Steven, if you want to stream, I I'm down to watch you play this deck, bro. I would love to see you play this deck. Like I said, my goal is not to go so long tonight. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Winning Black Rose in this deck is cheesy. Kind of. Wait, how are you really making Black Rose consistently, though? That's, uh, that's kind of cheesy. Don't worry about raiding. No, I'll raid you. No problem, bro. Of course I'll raid you. Don't even worry about it. I can wait. A, I can wait around three minutes. It's not even an issue. Let's go. Uni is a seven. Yeah, but like that's the, uh, like that's, like that's the uh, that's the, uh, like skull uni. Regardless, I think this build is really good. Like the build I have is really good. We had a twenty-eight game win streak with it. Like I think this is a good way to play the deck too. Like I think both mine and Steven's ways are really good ways to play the deck. I think you can go good with either way, honestly. Like, I don't think there has to be one right way to play the deck. I think there could be two really good ways to play the deck. I think both of us come up with great strategies. I think these are both good. I want to see how Steven plays the deck. I'm really intrigued. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nope, not at all. Yeah. I, this is just the first idea I came up with. Because this is what I thought initially. I, I didn't like... I, I thought about this initially. Because, like... The thing is, I don't like running a ton of back row in my deck. Because the reason why is I don't like losing because I drew too much back row going thing. Yeah, it's very aggressive. Doesn't... Aggressive doesn't mean the best. It means good. It means, like... You know... It means it can combo off. You lose, lose a little bit lack of disruption. I think that that's kind of the only thing. I think you can lose a little bit harder to text going second in certain decks. But like, 
If subtext aren't as prominent, this deck can be really good. I feel like this version can be really good as well. Because, like, when you go second, you can put a lot of pressure on decks. I love the ability. I like Reborn, too, because Reborn's like a fourth copy of Mizuki in the deck, right? So, like, yeah, like, having four Mizukis in the deck is like, oh, my gosh. So I think I think either way you really can't go wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. One Gandor. Hey, me too. <laughs> me too, Gens. Yeah, I love Gandor Arcus. Yeah. Tomorrow night we're gonna be cogging with this. We're gonna get cog with it tomorrow. We're gonna start climbing tomorrow with it. We're gonna have Mango as well. So we're gonna start climbing with this deck. Yeah, exactly. It took us to lose. It took us to draw three Shang Chi's for to lose. But I think any version loses to three Shang Chi's. Like, I don't think you can play past that. Like, how do you play that? Because your zombie reborn's dead. Unless somebody else has an idea, but I don't know how you would play that. Yeah, thank you, JVZ. Yeah. I think, like, I think, like, the thing is, like, if you draw three Shang Chi's, you're just dead anyway. <laughs> like, there's nothing I could have done. You know, I, 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 although, like, yeah, like, this is a really, really good build of the deck. 28 game win streak. Yeah. Wait, there was a way? How? How? What do you do? You send two Zhang Chi? No, you can't because you have to banish from the deck. Uh, Z Zombie Reborn has to banish from the deck. Yeah, banish from the same name from deck or extra deck. You can't. I have nothing to banish. Yeah, you can't because there's nothing to banish in deck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's the only way we can't play. The only way we can't play is if we draw three Zhangxi's because they have none to banish in the deck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. If you had Udi in the hand, the hand is fine. Yeah. But I have no way to get anything in the deck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If we play two red eyes. I mean, yeah, but then what? Then you cut it, then then the extra deck space is even more limited. Yeah, but like, well, no, not really. But even how does two red eyes even work? Like, I have no way to get Jiangxi in the grave. What are we ending on? Red eyes pass? Like, that's not even gonna do anything. Like, even at that point, like, what? Do, we can't normal summon the the, the Jiangxi either. So there's no way to even do anything there. Okay, yeah, I will JVZ. No, no, you send. Send what, though? I could send Red Eyes out of the extra deck to summon Red Eyes, but then what? We can't summon on that on our turn. The level 6 in the Synchro. Okay. Then banish. Banish what? You have to banish the Red Eyes. Banish the Synchro. You have to banish the Red Eyes. You can't banish anything else. Red Eyes summon. No, you only can summon. Red Eyes can only summon on the other turn. It can't summon on it can't summon on the it can't summon on the same turn. Red eyes has to summon on your opponent's turn. Yo, I'm Baradox, what's up? Yeah, I've been on vacation. I'm back now. But we had a 28 game win streak with um or with Zhangxi with uh the zombie deck. No, but you can't because then Red Eyes has to sum Red Eyes can only summon on your opponent's turn. And by then we're just dead. Like that's just a brick. There's nothing we can do about it. Like we drew three of the same cards. Like it, you know. Shit happens. <laughs> that's what I... That's what I... Yeah, that's what I say about that. Like, shit happens, dude. There's nothing you can do. You know, if the game wants to be... If the game wants to be an ass, the game's gonna be an ass. You know, I mean, we could go hearsay, hearsay, say, oh, if you change your build to this, maybe you could do something. But, like, then you're not winning some of the other duels that you would have won. Can you show it? Yeah, I could definitely show you. Um, We could definitely work on the list tomorrow. I'll show you. All right. Let's see. This is a puppy. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, Steven's on. Okay. We're going to raid Steven. Yeah, exactly. You can't. That's what I'm saying. You can't be. You can't think that way. Because otherwise, if you think that way, then it's like, you know, you're going to start going crazy and start flipping your build every time you brick. And you can't do that either. Because I feel like you could have something really good going and then you just get too afraid that you're going to brick and then, you know, you get a bad brick and then everyone gets angry and then things happen. Thank you, Grant, for the raid. I will get you back, bro. Good night, everyone. Good night.